All right, so check this out. I've got some sun power batteries here. And of course, these are supposed to be part of, part of a sun power sun vault system. These are the version 1.3 batteries. And you can turn them on and they get voltage. Let me show you talk, what I'm talking about. So this is the battery right here. You can turn this on and it'll blink, go through its boot up, get voltage to the terminals. Um, you've even got a second one here because you've got your uh, primary battery here with the dummy plug here. That means that this is the primary battery, you know, link the battery in parallel. And then you've got this one, which means it's the last battery and you can have a bunch of batteries in between. I believe it's up to 16, but we still haven't tested that fully yet. Got a green light. That means everything is online. And over here, I'm sniffing the CAN bus and I can see data coming from the batteries, which is great. Um, the thing with these though, is after about 10 minutes, this green light is going to go red and I'll show you that here in a sec because it's expecting some CAN bus messages coming in on this PCS wire. Um, so what I've done, so I've got a Lily go here and this is essentially an Arduino device. Um, so you can write C++ code basically onto this thing and it's got a CAN bus port. So I can broadcast messages and receive messages onto this Arduino and even do some manipulation of messages in and out. So I can send the keep alive across here to the battery. So here in a second, when this one goes red, we'll come back and I'll show you um, what that looks like on the computer and how the battery reacts once the keep alive start coming across. Okay, here we go. So red light, which means voltage here is dead. These batteries are essentially offline. That's not very useful because that only took about 10 minutes to get to that state. We've got to bring that back online to make these usable batteries. So here to the Lily Go, we're just gonna plug this into the laptop. Was just getting power from the laptop is all it's doing. It's loaded on the device itself. And, oh man, I didn't even catch it. Already back online. Here's what it's doing. It, all it's sending is one, two, three, four, five, and then it's gonna get up to FF and then go back to zero, zero. Um, that keeps the battery online. That's all that's needed. Now, of course, with all these messages that are coming from the batteries themselves with all the data, the next cool thing would be able to like translate all of this sun power specific data and send it as like pylon tech or eg4 or something like that up to an inverter and use closed loop communications between the batteries and the inverter that's gonna be the next step though right now uh, all i wanted to do is this get the can bus keep alives going <clears throat> so that someone could load this on like a lily go or a Raspberry Pi or an Orange Pi or something like that, and at least be able to get the batteries online and, and working. And at this point, I mean, I could put these in a system and charge them with either like a lead acid profile or a user defined or something, just based on voltage, you know, charge them up just like any normal 16S battery. These things can do like 64 amps in and out, charge and discharge. They're 128 amp hour battery. So six and a half kilowatt hour battery, um, you just don't want to, you know, charge them too fast or you'll blow a fuse inside or BMS will cut off. Um, but with communications, that would be controlled because we could then, you know, tell the inverter, hey, this is how fast you can charge and hey, this is how fast you can discharge, et cetera, et cetera.